the truck. That when she says, hey, your friends are awful. And they have hard evidence, like you crying about it when they say they're not, they're not letting you go. I don't think that means you're immature. Answering Am I the Whole Questions with Tyrus and Teresa. Am I the Whole <laughs> I told my daughter not to bother applying for college. What do you mean? Is she dumb? Well, let's see. Well, I don't I don't think you should right away say is she dumb cuz like nowadays I feel like for certain careers like you really don't need to go to college. True. I have multiple college degrees. I don't use any of them. This is a throwaway account. Okay, she I don't care. I am a 35-year-old female. And have a 16-year-old daughter. I wish you guys could see how that's written. F35 mean 35-year-old female? Rose, we're not talking about that <laughs> on here. That's what it always is. This is Reddit. Okay. <laughs> that's confused. I'm like, you have a truck. <laughs> I've never been on Reddit before. My daughter has a late birthday. Early mid-December. So she is going into her senior year of high school. She is very smart and I am proud of what she has accomplished, but she's also young and naive in a lot of ways. She's easily manipulated. She doesn't pay attention to her surroundings. She can't stand up for herself. She constantly still calls or texts myself and her father for help with things. More. More recently, I've been concerned about her doing dangerous things or submitting to peer pressure with her friends. I've met them and they are not good kids. I've told her to stop talking to them, but she refuses and tries tries to go behind my back. Okay, so like, this mom has a real problem with her daughter. Yeah. Also, she had her daughter pretty young, I think. Oh, not that young. What am I talking about? No, she's, she wasn't that young. She was. Cause her, no, she was like 20. No, 20 would be, the daughter would be 15. She was 19. Okay, she was 19. Okay, she was fairly young. Quick man. So she just has a, a lot on her hands right now. For these reasons, among others, her father and I have decided that we are not going to let her go off to college as long as she's a minor under our care. This means that she won't be going in fall 2024 because she doesn't turn 18 until that December. Yeah, she is pretty young. 16, yeah. Yeah, she is pretty young. No, she'll be 17 going into college. No, yeah, she's Until pretty young. December, she'll turn 18. So that's the whole first semester. I am not trying to stifle her, but I do want her to be safe. She was recently talking about starting to fill out college applications, and I told her not to bother. I explained that we weren't letting her go until she's old enough to make that decision for herself. She started crying and yelling at me, but I refused to budge. I don't think I'm being unreasonable, and honestly, her reaction is more evidence of immaturity. But apparently, she texted her aunt, who has been calling me the a-hole. Am I the a-hole? There's an edit. People seem to think that I will not allow her to go to college at all. I am absolutely willing to let her go to college once she's 18, and we will pay for it whenever she wants to go. We have the means. Okay, so and that's wherever. that's interest. Oh, wherever she wants to go, we have the means. Okay, so that actually adds a lot. The fact that her parents are gonna pay for it, because if your parents aren't going to be the ones paying for yeah. it, it, I don't think they can really get in the way that much. I mean, she is in their legal custody so they can stop her in that way and i not really if she if she was gonna pay for her own college they can't but she's like 15 17 how would you be she has to sign you up don't they no i saw mom had to sign me oh, i don't because i'm not from this country no i don't think your parents sign you up you, for college yeah they have to have no they don't your mom had to sign no documents when you went dual enrollment she had when I did dual there. enrollment, but I went when I was 15. But honestly, no, I don't think so. Maybe when I, the very 
I really don't think so, honestly. Maybe the very first document, like making me a student at the school, and then everything else I did on my own. Honestly, I felt like I was treated like any other student. The only thing I remember my parents being involved in would be like FAFSA, like getting yeah. loans and stuff. I don't remember them being so, so included maybe in that... like application. They never had anything to do with a college application, like when I applied for a school. Okay. So, maybe because that. it's not because it's not like you have to be a certain age to go to college. It's not like you have to. But you're, I'm thinking like legality, like you're, you're, you're not. Yeah, but you're not doing anything illegal at college. I mean, in the classrooms. In the classrooms. Oh. You're learning. Why would you need parental per permission to learn? What do you mean? You needed to learn about... Whatever. Skip that. Listen. If your parents are paying for it, and they don't think that you're ready for it, and... They have hard evidence, like you crying about it when they said they're not, they're not letting you go. I don't think that means you're immature. I think most kids that had their hearts set on going away to college, like if you're around a, all other kids that plan on going to college, you would be very upset mm -hmm. in finding out that you can't go to college. I feel like the way it, the parents confronted her about it is not right like for her to be like oh i'm thinking about going to college or whatever and then her mom's just like don't bother you're not going mm -hmm. like mm, that's not really how you should come across it i feel like if the mom really was worried about her and actually was worried about the decisions she's making the friends she's involved with she should be trying to like forge that relationship like a closeness with her daughter during this time so that there's more trust so that when she says hey your friends are awful like you shouldn't be like doing what they do like i'd rather you try to like maybe get a job or something so that you could meet new people or like join something to meet new people like or whatever giving her options rather than just being like you can't do that um what you could have done is you could have said you could have came to her one for some sort of cl more closeness and friendship. I know it's hard because right. I've been a teenager, have not been a mom to a teen. So I'm sure it's like literally horrible. Mm -hmm. um, but just being like, don't bother. No, maybe you should have been like, oh, I was thinking like, since you're so young and you know, you're not even gonna be 18 yet. Maybe we use that time. Maybe you start you know get a summer job and you know or an internship and see if that could extend that time period or we could take a trip or you know what i mean like build something like something that she could look for you it says you're of means so like maybe you guys could do some traveling during that time there has to be something that she's going to do during that time not just sit home while all of her other friends went off to college except for maybe the loser she's hanging out with because you said they're awful so maybe some people that you don't want her around aren't going off to college but like you don't want her just sitting home doing nothing like if you want her to stay home don't make it about like the things that are wrong with her make it about how how can we take advantage of this time at first i was going to say you know teenager super hard to deal with you don't know if they had a bond blah, blah 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 but honestly when you started saying like how you presented it was wrong then i totally get that like if they were to be like say any little thing that you mentioned i probably should have been more susceptible to it but also maybe if they would have given her a little bit of time you know her first reaction is just emotion yeah and mm -hmm. also like maybe you should have brought it up sooner not just when she's looking at applications like i thought I they probably like, did yeah maybe they honestly did. They, they, but honestly the safety aspect i get it because like if you go into this world and you you're not aware of your surrounding yeah i as a parent i'm gonna be worried about you right 24 7. right and that's kind of like right. we're both we're both at a loss you know right so i get it but i guess their presentation could have been better of like 
that you're not. But they should have, yeah, and they should have. I bet she maybe knew. like. I bet she knew. Yeah. They said it like over the years, and she just thought it was all like. Yeah, like brush you, offish. It also <laughs> could be presented in like, um, you need to prove to us, like we're willing to spend. Explain to her how much money you're gonna be spending. We're willing to spend College this much cheap. money on you going wherever you want. And that's amazing, by the way. And yeah, wherever and, you want. Yeah, so wherever you want, they might be providing her car. Who knows? Like, yeah. so we're doing all gonna do all this for you. You need to prove to us that while you're there you are going to be aware of your surroundings. We are going to be able to trust you. You're going to be able to get to class on time. You're not going to be drinking every weekend to the point where things could be go wrong. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I, I, just saying don't bother is kind of makes you a little bit the whole, a I'm little bit. But I, I get where you're coming from yeah, 100%. for sure. I hope they said it a different way. Yeah. And just like explain yeah. it adult talk is yeah. quickly. But, like, I hope they said it a different way. But also, the fact that they're willing to, like, if this somehow gets to this girl, I pray this girl gets to her. The fact that your parents are going to pay for everything is a blessing. And you don't want to, no pressure at all, by the way, you don't want to mess it up by, like, jumping into it and not giving yourself that maturity breathing room. Because mm -hmm. college is not cheap, not cheap at all. I should know. She should know, right? But you should really just take the time to just, like, think about what type of college you want to go to, what do you want to do with your college degree, or what college degree you even want. Because if they're willing to pay for everything, you get a you get a super dope education. Right. I want to spend those last, like, those, those six months just, like, having, like, a wall of murals. Like, you're going to pay for everything? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go. But let's jump into the comments. This person says, the problem here appears to be the parents, as they seem to have failed to teach their daughter to be independent. So may, wow, she may very well be better off in a community college. 100% agree That's true. with both of those things. Both statements. Yes. Community and also, that is a good option for the mom as well, yeah. to say you could start college if you stay yeah. at home. Community college, yeah. And then you can transfer. Yeah. You have your complete independence. You, you, I think that should have been an option from the beginning. From the beginning. It's so weird simple. that it wasn't offered. Unless you stay somewhere with no community college. That's impossible. Impossible. Right? Yeah, because there might even, it's not even just a community college. A lot of times there's even, there might even be a college besides a community college yeah. close. Like, you know, and honestly, around us there's like a lot of options. I didn't think about it, but this person is so right. Raising the daughter from zero to seventeen or sixteen, fine. Her teens. She has a lot of negative things to say about her daughter. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, right? Three years, right? That's the let's let's not count those. You had twelve years of raising her and instilling things into her and teaching her how to be independent. It's never too early to start teaching her how to be independent, <laughs> and that's where I think like the person with this comment is right. You kind of. I'm not going to use the word failed, but you could have done a better job. Why is this, why is this she independent? You. Also, it feels like they, she has, it doesn't seem like she has hope that she's going to gain this independence in the next six months. She's just like, she'll be a legal adult then. She can make her own decision. It's like, you know, like, are you going to try to get something going? Like, you yeah. know what I mean? I yeah. think she's going to get some But the community going. college is a great thought. I love community college. Um, I get the sense that anytime she tries to be independent, they stop her. It's not that she is stupid or naive, is what they said. Doesn't let her fall down and make mistakes. She is controlling. Oh, peace. That means original poster or something. It means the original poster. These abbreviations got me in a blender. I do not know what none of them mean. <laughs> um, I don't think that. I don't think this comment is true at all. Because parents, no matter what, right? You go to school. She goes to school. She goes from school to her house. She has all these things that 
she's independent or she at least is away from her parents. So I don't feel like they're not letting her try. No, you could be go to school and come home from school and still not be independent like your parents could be very controlling still controlling sure but independent in the case of like doing your homework like going to class all these stuff teach their little bits of stuff that eventually builds to a bigger character like she wouldn't be i don't know but but yeah they do mention she hangs out with people and stuff so they do allow her to hang out with people yeah. i mean they don't want her to but there is some level that of independence yeah. um i like the next comment actually which one it's not that they don't let her make mistakes it's that they simply assume she'll make them and act before she even has a chance to do anything all they've managed to teach her is learned helplessness and that I like because of how many negative things this mom has said about, like, she said a whole laundry list of really mean things about her daughter, which make, makes it seem like she has a lot of assumed thoughts about her daughter. I mean, you have to think of this is a mom. She says um, she's easily manipulated. She doesn't pay attention to her surroundings. She can't stand up for herself. She constantly still calls and texts um, if she needs help with things. Like, I am currently 32 years old. I have been in situations where I've definitely still called my father and asked for help with things. I hear the thing. The comments sound harsh, right? But maybe she's saying it in the sense of, I gotta paint a clear picture to this whatever reddit group because it's like i'm sure she's never been like oh i'm not sure but maybe i don't think she's ever been like all these things to her i don't know because she said like don't bother to apply like pretty yeah. just from the words she said it's painting her in a not perfect light true true in conclusion wrapping it all up is she the whole for telling her daughter don't even bother with signing up for college i think yeah it could be thought process is there right did not did not come across right yeah she didn't do it right i feel like even if she in real life is not the a-hole but she on this little format she did not express her caringness or yeah, but she did she should have given her daughter options yeah options for sure like it shouldn't have just been don't bother and if you, if they felt like that for a while then they should have had options mm -hmm. they should have talked about it between mother and wife mother and father and had a talk between themselves and that would have translated to a better presentation of that so i think you are right she might be the a-hole <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Well, maybe. Maybe. Um, if you're enjoying this, check out our next video. We're going to be talking about um, Am I the whole question for refusing to go to my sister in law's baby shower <laughs> after she refused to support me when I had a stillbirth and stole my daughter's name? Can I just say one thing? Mm. How do you. Uh, S -I -L. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> get it, stop. <laughs>